Code changes happen for many different reasons, and sometimes it's hard to figure out what the intent of the change is. It might seem subtle when looking at the change made to 408.4, approved locations for circuit directory for a panel board. But having an accurate and legible circuit directory for a panel board can not only save time, it also seriously improves safety. Historically, panel directories were found on the inside of the door or attached to the front of the panel. Usually, directories are a template supplied with a panel board from the manufacturer. But those templates often only have a small space for the written description of the load being served. The 2020 NEC adds language that allows for the panel directory to be in an approved location adjacent to the panel board. With this added language, the code now allows for more written detail. Instead of having a circuit directory say lights, you can now clarify each entry on the schedule and not have to fit it on the factory provided materials. Either way, the code maintains that every circuit and circuit modification must be legibly identified as to its clear and specific purpose. This aids electrical professionals in two ways. The first is, when it comes to our jobs, there's no such thing as TMI. The more information provided inside a panel board, the better. The more detail you can provide in a circuit directory, the safer everyone who works on the system will be. It also makes future work on the system easier and provides the best product to the customers. The second way it helps is that information is useless unless it's easy to find. That means that the location has to be clear, obvious, and consistent. Historically, that meant placing a circuit directory inside or on the face of the panel board door. The requirement for a circuit directory was first introduced in the 1990 NEC. Prior to that, the requirements had been set in Article 110 for each service, feeder, or branch circuit to be legibly marked to indicate its purpose at the point where it originated. That was unless it was located and arranged so the purpose was evident. Enhanced identification requirements in Article 408 included directions to avoid using transient conditions of occupancy. This meant that living room or upstairs bedroom number one was acceptable, but children's bedroom or sewing room was not. These provisions satisfied the requirement of being easy to locate, but didn't provide as much detail as might be needed. Because most installers rely on pre-printed templates, the problem was always that they only gave enough room for a few words. Lists left no space for other important information, like schematics or specs, to say nothing of arc fault ratings, lists of circuits controlled by energy management systems, and inspection stickers. The 2020 edition of the NEC makes a significant change by allowing the circuit directory to be placed next to the panel board with location approval to be specified by the authority having jurisdiction. This is a big step toward a safer and more improved work product. It also makes it easier to coordinate maintenance and inspections of panel board installations. 